Ich mal vor, wir sind vierte Generation jetzt hier. Seit? Ja. Also mein Urgroßvater, die haben hier angefangen 1909. Hier wurden ja früher, ich weiß nicht, waren sie schon draußen Kolmanns Gruppe gewesen. Das ist ja ne? Also, also da, da müssen sie vielleicht mal da raus, ne? Happy first day of winter. 17 degrees now. At night was 9 degrees. Ich bin hier mehr als 100 Jahre. Okay. Ja, so, sie sind sehr alt. Du wirst es bei dir selbst sehen, wenn du in der Kirche bist. Wir sind in Kolmas Kopf, das sie nennen die Ghost Town. Isn't it mysterious that in a ghost town you see the doorway and the mist just running into the house? Misty, mysterious. So, after an hour of a dense fog, we can see the town. beginning of last century, um, I think 1908 or something like that, one of the workers who cleaned the rails um, found strange um, stone and he brought the stone to his master and so since then the diamond fever started here in Kolmanskop. They brought everything from Germany. Uh, material for houses, furniture, wallpapers. They even delivered uh, coal to heat up their houses. They built a town uh, with 
everything what we need. It was a school, it was um, entertainment hall, uh, it was a power station, ice making factory, uh, butcher shop, uh, bakery shop, and so on and so on. Um, all in all, it was about uh, 1,200 people, but uh, real rich people here was about 400, and the rest was just workers. And so what they did, uh, they lean on their tummies and just picking up with tweezers, just picking up small diamonds and collecting them. And every day, uh, every of them collect from 400 to 500 carats of diamonds. All in all, about 500 million carat was discovered here. And the town was absolutely wealthy, Every, uh, the life was bursting here till the uh, end of the World War, World War I, when the prices for the diamonds dropped down. This is the beginning of the, this was the beginning of the end. And in the somewhere in the 30s they discovered another a uh, place with much bigger diamonds, it was the mouth of Orange River. So, and slowly all our uh, people moved there. So, there was no point to keep this town anymore and in the last family left, left this town in 1956. wealthy, they were eating sandwiches with caviar and drinking genuine French champagne how their doctor prescribed to get rid of desert depression. And it's run just 40 years. Every morning the engineer comes to this wonderful terrace for his breakfast with for sure good, good good German coffee or maybe Austrian and he was sitting here maybe looking to the beautiful desert and thinking how beautiful the life is but one day the baker stopped delivering the bread and no one came to sweep off the sand of the street and the school bell stopped ringing and the ice factory fell silent. In just 40 years, whole town was born, flourished and died. The mother nature took back all what was hers.
day to have a sun bath. Huh? It's a perfect day to have a sand bath.